Wada ukufarei mose mangwa na nanu mstara jesu. Chapter number 10, verse number 27. Isaiah 10, verse number 27. Allow me to read the word of God. And it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. I'm going to read it again. Isaiah chapter number 10, verse number 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. May God bless the reading of his word. Mangwanani anu, zitara jesu. Amen. I'm going to be speaking on a ceremony and upper title, Yekuti, because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that the word of God is written for a reason. The word of God is not just written but each and every scripture that is in the word of God is written for a season and for a reason. It is written to answer questions that we have in our lives. All the questions that you may have in your life, I want you to know that the answers are there in the word of God. And I'm happy this morning God is going to answer some questions. Situations have sangana now for a long time. But I want to tell you that God has allowed you to be here to, this morning so that you can hear the word of God. And that the word of God can shift your life to another level. Hallelujah. How many believe that their lives are going to be shifted to another level because of his word? Oh, glory be to Jesus. Amen. Now, as I begin my sermon, allow me to explain a few things. Tataura about a burden. Irukutaurwa mshokora mwari. Atavirenga pana Isaiah chapter number 10, verse number 27. And I want you to take this burden that the word of God is speaking about as issues that are brought upon your life by the devil. There are people in this place who are listening to me. Vanema burden akasia na siana that are sitting on their shoulders. There are people who have burdens of distress. There are people who have burdens of brokenness. Some of you have burdens of substance and drug abuse. Washaya wamboeza kuregeza patishirukuramba. Some of you have burdens of sicknesses. One sickness after the other. Ichichikapora chumwechino tanga. Dambuzikwe richipera rimwerino tanga. So this morning I'm speaking to people. Vanema lords avakata kudzwa ni wakaipa. Pauno tuti nda kufema opano tanga chimwe. One Lord after the other and you can't bear it anymore. You are saying, but why God is my life like this? Why am I suffering like this? Why are things not happening the way they are supposed to happen in my life? 
Doda utu zoti chino nzibede na nababana na mai is a heavy load. It's something that weighs down on you. It's something chino exida ya chino carrying capacity ye chino kana uti ye munu. Kana tishitaura pamsoro pe overload. Pamsore, pamsoro pe burden. We are talking about something that exceeds a carrying capacity ye chimwe chino. For instance, tino gona kulo dajinu mubara, but bara rine carrying capacity. Rine parino gumira pa kukwanisa kutakura jinu. Now when we are talking about a load, it means tikaisa jinu ziri over the carrying capacity. Ye bara iroro, haricha kukwanisa kuakomodeta. Rino tanga kukurirwa. Now I have some people who are listening to me this morning wa kutanga kukurirwa. Ne kudakwe ma bedens avaka takuzwa ne wakaipa. Some of you could ufambe wa kutadza because that load is weighing down on you. You know, kanam chinu cha exida carrying capacity. When you have an overload, it manipulates movement. Ye munu kana ye chinu. Kana waka takura yewe jinu cha usunga nyato guno kutakura jinu kuremera jiri above your carrying capacity. Ukadao to ufambe speed sometimes ino zorwa because the Lord ya waka takura will be controlling the speed that you move with. Ukadautu manye which don't a sagare 100 kgs, you will find could you not be able to run. But the Lord ya ya will continuously pull you back because it's in control. Nekuti ya exida carrying capacity yako. So that's why you find sometimes you want to pray, but you can't pray. Sometimes you say, I want to fast this whole week, I'll be fasting. But paunongo tanga kutsanya msue mande, dumbruno bararira, obaware geza. Why? Because the burden is weighing on you. Sometimes you get into your prayer room, oti nasindrukuda kuna mata. I want to break those barriers, I want to deal with certain issues. But the moment ya unongo tanga kututu, ndi tangi kuna mata, unotanga kupera simba. Fungwa zino tanga kuya mfungwa zako kutibatu, urukuna mata shako, asi wakanga nwa shako, urukusanga nana shako. Urukuna mata shako, but wakanga not ndi waka si wanemurume. Urukuna mata shako, but uchipeza kuti amen siku fizi, urukudi wakuchukuro kwe mwana. Now those voices begin to speak into your mind, and they begin to control how you move, what you do, what you say, how you pray, when you pray, what you pray for. The devil will begin to control you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that some of you have evil demonic transactions that are ongoing right now. There are evil demonic things going on in your lives which you are not even aware of. Chauno zongoona is the result panyama. But what you don't know is there are transactions which are happening in background kwe life yako. There are things jineit kwa munjimbo zaka wanda. Jino manipulate how your life moves. How things are going in your life. Certain things uruku jiruisa panyama uchisha ya kutiko seiva ni wachingu ndivenga. Kwa sei ndikada kutanga uchina achifu. Udirire ndikatanga china achipere. But chaone ngosunga zende chekuti there are people behind the scenes. Variku meka shua kuti variku continua kukuloda nema burdens one after the other. To make sure instead of giving glory to God you are busy binding the devil. Now what the devil doesn't want is for you to give glory to God. What the devil doesn't want is for you to have time to worship God. What the devil doesn't want is for you to kana wapinda prayer. Unotanga kuna mata ushtenda mwari. Uchingoti mwarindi no kudai makandi nakira. Ndika tarisa upenyu wangu mwarindi no nzgwa kukupai mbiri. What the devil wants is for you kapinda mpreya kudila ne na mocheti. Kusunga ne kusunungura basi. Kubainda ne kunyarari za mavoise. Chasunga ne kutushandi senguwa ya kukurumbi za mwari. So what does he do? He makes sure you are overloaded with life's burdens. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. But I want you to know something this morning that the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians. Rino tu zakuti, when a man has given himself to Christ, things they have to change. Hallelujah. Behold, all things are passed away and everything becomes new. So, Jesus things must begin to change in your life. But the reason why things do not change, sometimes it's because 
au zive simbara winaro haugo nekuna mata so the reason yekuti hauna mata ino ita kuti ushaiwe simba re kuchinja zvino zvakufanira kuchinja nekuti wana Jesu mauri I want you to tell you today children of the most high god that burdens will never move unless you pray burdens will not be taken away from your shoulder unless you pray ukasana mata zvina zvichinje ukasana mata mayoko havisike saka chiri kudiwa namwari mangwanani ano mu kristu anona mata the holy spirit is looking to empower some people to pray Jesu achidzokera kudenga anotandi kusiye imuri mega but ndinokusira imwe ya mucheni acha kudzedzisa izvinhu zvese I want you to know that the Holy Spirit is available for us but he cannot be used nevanhu vasinga mude paduze the only way you can draw the power of the Holy Ghost is through prayer so I want you to know that as long as you don't pray as long as uchi continue ni life yako yeye yeye kuti hauna mate hautsanya uverenge bible i want you to know that burdens will continue to be the order of your day in your life unless you pray things will not change unless you pray problems will not cease what stops the devil's manipulation in your life is prayer because when you pray you generate a certain type of power when you pray uno generate rimwe simba ra usingafewa kawana in the physical form that's why uchi not ve nyika vekwa satan vakazviziva kuti kuti vakunde ku kingdom yavo they have to generate a certain type of power saka vanenda kunganga vonopiwa makona vonze ndai munoomberera pasi pemuti motaura zitarake mubva mapfunga idzira mushunga Saka iwewe ndo vanhu vauri kurwa navo ndo vanhu vane mabedens avari kuisa pa life yako ndo vanhu vari kushandiswa na satan as mediums to your life you are fighting witches and wizards who are dedicated to zvinhu zvavanoita but iwewe you want to play it safe and cool uchirara my life is not prayer burdens will never move but this morning the holy ghost is looking for christians who are saying i'm about to steer up my spirit i want the holy ghost to empower me to be able to pray so that burdens can be removed from my shoulder the holy ghost is here this morning and i'm telling you paucha buda all those who have their hearts opened to god all those who have their spirits willing to receive this morning as you are going to be going out of that door you are going to go out with a certain type of empowerment that the holy ghost is bringing upon your life an empowerment that to empower you to pray to another level ya usati wakamboshika vamwe venyu mucha buda muno mane rimwe simba rekunamata rekuti pauno tanga kunamata mumba mako you create a magnetic force ino mutsa chero vakarara uno tanga kunamata zvekuti chero tenant ari ku cottage anobatira moyo we moto we prayer waunenge uchi generate mumba mako why because of the empowerment of the holy ghost now i want to tell you something that prayer activates the holy spirit and pataveringa shokora mwari rati and it shall come to pass on that day that his burden shall be removed from off thy shoulder i want you to tell you kuti the bible is saying the burden shall be removed from off thy shoulder ndoda kuita mubvunzo mangwanani ano kuti who removes the burden from off thy shoulder who removes the neck the yoke from your neck who removes the yoke and destroys i want you to know kuti ano visa burden from off your shoulder is none other than the holy ghost i want you to know kuti ano break my yokes ano destroyer is the holy spirit but mwe amchene gone kuzviita pamunhu asinga mudane muupenyu wake the holy spirit is always with you if you didn't know pauno famba mwe amchena anofamba newe but he maintains a distance unless you invite him wherever you are the holy ghost is always with you ukapinda mukombi mwe amchena anopinda newe ukapinda mbazi mwe amchena anopinda newe but is always at a distance if you don't invite him but kune 
mano fugama wati mwari mwe ya mchene ndi za zei wa mangwana ni anu I need an infilling of the Holy Ghost kune awo vano na matasa David vano ti as the deer painted for the waters so my soul longs for the Holy Ghost vano za zwa ni mwe ya wa mwari vano gara ni mwe ya wa mwari vano tunga miriru wa ni mwe ya wa mwari saka ukavani nzara ni nyota yiku deza mwe ya wa mwari mauri I want you to know that the Holy Spirit will be able to remove every burden from your shoulder hallelujah Oh, glory be to Jesus. So it is the Holy Spirit who removes burdens from our shoulders. And it is the Holy Spirit who removes yokes from our necks. So I'm inviting you and encouraging you, child of God, this morning. That let it be your desire. 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 The Bible calls him the person of the Holy Ghost. Meaning to say he's an individual. He's a being. He's a person. Saka ano todao kominyo ni newe. Ano todao kutaura newe. Sema taurira uneta na buru wako uya uya wawuno farira. 30 minutes muno peza muri pafon. Muchi taura ngeadza kasiana siana. So the Holy Spirit longs to speak to you. Do you know kuti it's not seen with our eyes. Ati juwone. Nekuti atina maziso emwe ya. But daima iziwa kuti the Holy Spirit patino peza nguwa tichi taura neva mwedhanu. He will be long longing also kutiti taure nae he will be sitting there behind us beside us achingo shuvira o kutidaya taura o neni so the moment you get into your prayer closet pauri wega pasina umwe muno you close that door and you begin to say holy ghost i'm here to commune with you i want you to know kutijino it has something in the person of the holy ghost jino mupa simba to begin to work things in your life jino mupa authority to begin to set things in place in your life. Why? Because you are now communing with him. Wakutaura nae. Wakunzwa wakutaura kwake. And I want you to know kutu ukanzwa wakutaura kwa mwe ya mchene. Unotanga kuita confidence mauri. You will be confident kutindika tanga chinu. Inini chanda tanga. Chino budirira ne kutandisindega. You will be confident kutu chero ndika enda kumushane moti karinyo wana. Chero waka no koratsoka yangu azishande. You will be confident kutu chero waka enda kunganga because the Holy Ghost is in me. He will not allow things to happen to my children. Saka chime chinoti peza confidence vanavamari. Chiko nzere ochekuti hatina ukama na mwe ya mchene. So we don't know what tomorrow holds. Because we don't speak to the one who sees tomorrow. We don't know what tomorrow is going to be. Because atita ure nae wacho anukwansa kutizivisa kutimangwana kutimangwana. Mira say. Uno jizile eroti mwe ya mchene Vano kwa nisa kukurati za kuhope Kutuchaita accident mangwana ugwe Kansel a jigoramba Uno zile ere kuti mwe ya mchene Ano gona kurivila kwa uri kutimurume wako Ane small house Ugo to dilana zon prayer house Nambo no konfranta na ne munu Relationship yoyo ika terminate kwa But chino ita kutiti react The way we do sometimes Is because we don't know the person of the Holy Ghost We don't use him we don't commune with him. We don't speak to him. We don't give him an opportunity to direct us. But this morning the word of God is saying And the devil's burden shall be lifted from off your shoulder And my mandate is very simple this morning God has just sent me to speak to his children The people that are called by the name of God To tell you that that burden which has been weighing you down Can be removed from off your shoulder And the person, the spirit of God who is able to do that Is present with us today And I want you to know that if you open your heart and if you say Lord I haven't been praying but from today I want to learn to pray I want to receive the empowerment of the Holy Ghost and I want him to remove every burden from my shoulder and I want to assure you that burdens are going to fall hallelujah burdens are going to be removed from off your shoulder oh glory be to Jesus Hallelujah. The word of God is saying and it shall come to pass in that day. And I'm happy to announce that that day is now. Hallelujah.
That day is today and that day is now. It is about to come to pass in some people's lives. Huh? That doors are about to be open in the name of Jesus. Huh? It is about to come to pass in some people's lives. Huh? That your spouse is about to come. Huh? God is about to do it for you. It is about to come to pass today. That some people are about to be released from the yoke of sickness. Hallelujah. You are about to be released from the yoke of infirmity. Mangwana warwara, washair wa kutichirukur wadza chi, wa screen wa jese mari zapera. It is about to become a thing of the past because the Holy Spirit is in this place and He is going to destroy every demonic yoke this morning. I'm just looking for a few people who are willing. I'm just looking for some people who are willing, who are saying, I am tired of living a life full of baggage. I am tired of my progress being inhibited by the devil. You know, when you are carrying a load, kanapane wakambo takura machanga ni begi aya, aninga haka zadz kwa jina haka load kwa. Ndine ma cross border irari mnjimbo ino. Sometimes unenda kuno tengesa, unenda kuno hoda jini. But uno kwa nisa kutadza kuj takura, jaka wanda and sometimes kana waka takura load I'm sure ndi nana mai waka mbo tsiga jini pa msoro zimwenguwa you may move two steps forward and then you move three steps back, why? because the load ya waka senga yae ndo wei nenge ichi ditema ina kuturuku enda kupi, unogo na kumbo enda kusaidi ni kutia kupushirai koko zopa jakonze resa confusion mu life ya mamu eva ni waka ndi terera the reason why uruku mbo ti watanga business zombo tengwa Zomira zozokera kumashura Pana cha tenga wakuda kufara Pozo ya wana no tenga wavura Wasimu zira You are carrying an overload You are overburdened by the devil And I want you to know kuti burden ya unenga wakatakura That overload Manipulates your movement It manipulates progress in your life That's why you find you can't Go far You are only allowed to do something to a certain extent Beyond that Because wakaremerwa and the chininge chichikonze resa kutu unge waka remerwa. Ndeche kuti shokorata ura rikati his burden shall be removed from off your shoulder. And his neck, his yoke from off your neck. Saka mtsipa wako uninge waka iskwa joko na satan. Secret ya kaone kwa na satan. Nde kuti anoda kungo vra do one mupenyu wako. He just opens one door in your life. And yewewe uka ala wa do iroro kutirivurike mupenyu wako. For example, anongo kukonzi resa utuite upombo keka one. He opens a door and that door manje he use it to yok your neck. Hallelujah. Ano shandisa one door. Kungo meka shu otaisa joko pamtsipa wako. Saka kanaisa joko pamtsipa wako wako, tika enda kumaruzeva tino zivama dongi, anu shandis kwa kutakura jino andite, enda kuti dongi ili takure jino, rino bopu kwa ni joko andite, anu isi kwa joko muuro so pa joko ipa bopu nengepa ini chikonekshin, chino ita kuti ngoro ili kudonzi kwa hii, ino no hakira, pa joko ili nge ripa neki, now lord, ino isi kwa mungoro, haisi kwa ipa mwepani ino isi kwa mungoro, but wait now ye, lord, ya isi kwa yaka connect kwa pa joko ili mtsipa ino takuruwa ni mafuzi, hallelujah that is why the Bible is saying his burden shall be removed from off your shoulder. Meaning to say you've been carrying the devil's burden weighing down on your shoulders. But the problem is not on your shoulder. The problem is on the neck. Yakatakura joko. Saka Bible riguti number one. Tika visa burden to isa paside. Number two. To vata visa joko to isa paside. But chanda farira ndeche kuti Bible rana gumira ipapo. Harnaungo pe and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Now why is the Holy Ghost speaking about destroying the yoke? He knows that if he takes off the yoke and sets it aside, akangosia yoke ir paside, meaning to say doori ya riarango wabudi tukwa bati doori chakavurwa. So if the door is not utterly closed and destroyed, the devil can quickly take the yoke and place it back on your shoulder. So what do we do? The anointing of God is available to destroy the yoke. 
ndeche kuti anointing ya marikana ya buruka pa life yako i want you to know something it ceases to be about you now when the anointing of god descends upon your life it takes over the affairs of your life kana wachi tindira kuti mwe amchene burukira pa life pangwa ndodo kuti zoti from the moment he comes into your life it ceases to be about you it now starts to be the business of the holy ghost it now starts to be the business of the anointing in other words in terms that no nzwisisa ndiri kuti kana wa invite anointing my life yako nyaya dzako dzinochitengwa manje na anointing ya mwari nyaya dzako dzinochipindirwa manje ne simba re wakwe mwe amchene dzinochitengwa manje ne simba re denga kureva kuti zvawai chikundi kana kuita bedeni yawanga uchitadza kuvhisa iya iya because the anointing has come upon your life it will automatically be removed i want you to know ladies and gentlemen and this is my announcement to the devil this morning that i want the devil to know kuti when the anointing is released upon the child of god oh the devil does not have an option oh zvikwambo zvava zvisina option kana anointing ya buruka pamwana wa mwari ndati barrenness isina option but it has to move out of your life when the anointing descends upon you child of god ivu shinanigans they cease to work the plans of the devil become utterly destroyed and they become utterly stopped sakanda uya kuzokudzo kuti uri kutambisa nguva mangwanani anu you've been wasting time uchitadza kuna matamwari you've been wasting time allowing the devil to trample over you yet the bible says behold we have been given power to tread upon the serpent to tread upon the scorpion kureva kuti nini ndine simba rekuti kana kune chikwambo chiri kundivinga kuhope basa titatomboshika pa outer ko yekuti apostle vanoti vane zvikwambo huyai inini ndiri kumba kwangu iko ko ndino simudza izwira ngo ndichina mata ndichiti nekuda kwechizoro chiri pamusoro pangwa iwe chikwambo uri pasi petsoka dzangwa bible rakandi pasimba pamusoro pako nezita ra jeso ndino kutsika une simba rekuti nyoka dziedza unorota dzichikumonera usati watomboshika ku church you have the power that you've been given by the holy ghost you have the anointing from the time you received jesus but you don't know it child of god but ndo zvanda tumwa na mari kuzokuzivisa nekuku empower mangwanani anu kuti nyoka dziedza unorota unofanira kudzisamona wamuka kuti wenyoka yanda rota ichindi tanda nisa uya umira apa iwe nyoka yanda rota ichindi monera mira apa nezara jeso bible rakandi pasimba kutsika msoro ye nyoka kutsika msoro ye zvinyavada ndoda kuti zoti vanenda kunganga nevanoshereketa kana vachita zvinhu zvavo vanoshandisa inonzi symbolism kureva kuti anonzi ndapa pamuti uno bai unosungirira machira machuku pabanga wobva watobaya so they act what they want to emphasize vano to demonstrate kunyika yavo iyo yemwe china but chitinaita kuti tikundwe isisu vana vamwari ndeche kuti tinoda kuna matatiri magumbeze nekuti ndi june kuri kutonhora ndi chingo chai bind the devil i have power over you to tread upon you uri mumagumbeze ukafuga msoro kambobuditsa kakona because uri kuterera with but va uri kurwa navo mwana wa mwari chero kuchitonhora kanzenda pa maradzano anoenda unopwanira mazai pakati pe usiku anonzenda asina kana chaakapfeka iwewe une zvima pijama zviri kutengeswa mazivano zvinenge maguruguru zvie unozesa kumuka kubuda kuti unamate asina simu yamchene vari kuchagarudzirwe makristo anoti when i'm dealing with such kind of issues i also demonstrate because i not only want the devil to hear it but i want the devil to see it with his eyes kana takutauro kuti tuda kutsika nekutsikwanya zvikwambo ndinoda munhu anobuda magubezi omira oti iwe chikwambo chinorara neni iwe mwe yewe kusazvara 
Mwe we china wakaba tachibere kuchangwa. Chimbo mira pati taurirane. Nezi tara jeso we hundu. Dino kutsika msoro. Nezi tara jova we hundu. Dino nimbura kufuter wako. Nezi tara jova we hundu. Hauna chako pava na vangu. I tell you, if you change your prayer, you are going to see things move. Ukatanga kwita mna matiro iwoyo, vame mchamu kama jinya kafa maksen. Jikiti shavo shakafa maksen. Mchamu kashishiri shavo shiri mkaten maksen. Ugoti koza vepiko shiriz. Mwaya mcheno kuya uchiz. What because of the anointing, you have power to destroy. Ndiwa mayoko acho iwa, you are not destroy. Doma paradzira cha atine cha mayoka. Anababa na nama ya atichada chi kristu. Chekuti munu ya kuno kuchecha. Toku nama tira nasa obda dimone. Wadzoka next Sunday obda rime dimone. Wadzoka next Sunday but wano obda futimu yewe china. Pani chiriku leka. Chiriku leka is the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. When you are empowered with the Holy Ghost, you are only delivered once and jatopera. Because from the moment you are delivered, the anointing oil takes over. From the moment you are not sununguru, the anointing oil, the Holy Ghost will begin to teach you. Kutichimuka regina ya anguwe kunamata. That call for clock, chimuka unamate. Mwem chenika naka zara mauri. Haunzwe hope panguwe kunamata. Namata. Chero pari pakatipe usiku warara na naini. Tuko fukloku alami karira. Unonzi kwa kame kasimba ke kudaku na mata. Chino kupeza simba ne kukunzi kisa ope. Mwe ya mchene mshoma mauri. But nasinda uya na yaka zara. Endaru kutivari kundida I'm available. Those who want to go home with the Holy Ghost. It's a matter of opening up your heart. Those who want to receive the anointing oil. I want you to know that the anointing that breaks yoke or yokes of bondage is here this morning. The yoke breaking anointing is here. Not only do we have the yoke breaking anointing, but the yoke breaker is here. Saka kureva kutu uchabuda muna une number one, the yoke breaker himself. And you are also going to go out with the yoke breaking anointing. Saka jese jasara jaka kumiri rakumba ndoda uti jeshipo waka gara ipapo, umbo demonstration Tane mtsipa wako Umboti jokore seripa mtsipa wangu wako Jokore kushai wa mabasa wako ndiregeza Jokore kusabatava na wako ndiregeza Jokore kutaza kunzu wa mwari Kuneva mwiva nivari munu wa imbo nzu wa mwari Bati jesha ucha nzu wa mwari Waka feke zwa jokore kuta ugone kuna mata Waka feke zwa jokore kuti jinu jako ajikone kuyendeka But this morning I'm happy to tell you That every yoke is about to be destroyed and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be removed from your shoulder am I speaking to people who are carrying burdens allow me to declare over your life that that burden is being destroyed in the name of Jesus that burden is being destroyed in the name of Jesus it's being removed that burden of rejection that burden of substance abuse kuneva komana who are struggling to let go of masturbation that burden is about to be lifted it's the devil who has yoked you kutipasawa ni chino famba in your life but this morning allow me to announce that the devil is a liar and he belongs under our feet and we stand in the authority of Jesus Christ this morning do I have ambassadors of Jesus Christ who are saying we are standing in the authority of Jesus I want you to know that you have authority and power to destroy and demolish any yokes of the devil over your life but chauri kungo da kungo ti muyam chene it is now about you muyam chene it's now about you take over my marriage this yoke baba ya kabata mtsipa we marriage yang tika kunda hambu iri kune rimwe nenge rakati mirira tika pukunyuka conflict i kune imwe nenge rakati mirira but from today oh god because of your anointing it's going to be a thing of the past.
Allow me to announce to you Mangwana ni anu Ndinevari kushupika yere Mangwana ni anu Ndinevari kushoteru wa nemari yere Mangwana ni anu Ndinevari wa nishinu shusiri kubatana Ndinevari wa nima conflicts mu life yao Ndinevari wa nijambu Kamu nyama niru shava shava Rauru kunyatona wega kutishisha Shisi jega That today is that day It's now about to come to pass in this day That that yoke is about to be destroyed In the name of Jesus Every satanic yoke placed on your neck. I am addressing it right now under the anointing of the Holy Ghost that let it loose you and let you go in Jesus name. You are coming out of this place free from bondage. And then so that he always has access into your life. As long as Jokori Pamsipa connect time a lot. Akabisa yongo connect time a lot. But to Today we are destroying that access. We are closing every evil door. As I stand as a servant of God, I decree and I declare that every satanic door that has been giving access to the devil over your life, I close it now in the name of Jesus. Every satanic door, that spirit of prayerlessness, I command it to loose you right now and let you go. You are becoming empowered to pray. I don't know about prayer. There are some people that anger one of my am chene. Vanishavar could acquit you, Pambera, Pope, Penu, but Varkuta Zakuna Mata, Nekutipani Joko, Rexana Mata, Rakaisqua Pamsipa Pavo, but as I'm standing right now under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I break that yoke of prayerlessness. I break that yoke of Tazakuna Mata. From today, you are receiving an anointing which is is going to help you pray and that prayer is going to take you where God wants you to be kuneva nuvari pano vanema ivu shinani genzaru kuitukwa behind their back their evil schemes that are ongoing right now as we are preaching kuneva tori kumakrawa ijeji kuneva ripama ota enganga kuneva rimu zimbadze varoi right now vari kufunga izra mishonga but as I'm preaching right now I'm seeing the Holy Ghost rising up as a mighty force. I'm seeing the anointing visiting those shrines. I'm seeing the anointing destroying their plans. I'm seeing the anointing setting fire. One thousand US dollars. But as I'm praying right now, I decree and I declare that limitation is about to be broken. In the name of Jesus, and some of you are going to be surprised. You are going to be shocked to suddenly things are about to move. Suddenly, there is going to be a shift. Suddenly, wakutanga kubata Maria wongo satuambo, but suddenly, manawi anga kutambu zaku zokutere because tapisa mbiyazavo, tapisa mabotoro avo, tapisa shukwambo shavo, tapisa mishonga yavo, saka kana tapisa ubude muno wakadaro, urukubuda muno wane shanduko, urukubuda muno jinuja haku make a sense mupengi wako, urukubuda muno zitara kori chotanga kutauru wawo, pano tauru wa mazi God is doing something in our midst right now and I want you to rise up to your feet and begin to pray begin to decree and declare and say because of the anointing I'm coming out of every satanic bondage because of the anointing every burden is being removed from my shoulder because of the anointing the yoke is being destroyed yoke is Wakambona irekana mombe Ichipo pono rwangwa kubvisa joko Pana itambata wabata Ndo bata wabata ya truda utite right now mpreya Bata wabata ya kuti satan Haufe wakabata futi mtsipa wangwa Kana pane vano gona kumufura ni makumbe kumashure jineta donge Ndati right now begin to declare And say muno maku itachipata pata Nekuti joko rekusabere kawakundi regeza Joko rekusabata mandi wakundi regeza 
against her. Jokwere evil manipulation. Every demonic voice that has been speaking into your mind. I want you to begin to wrestle right now. You have been told, the yoke breaker is in here. He is about to break it.